Happy Monday! Night portrait. I don't understand why it does this. John Mayer alarm. Coffee is acquired, guys. Today is a cool video. We are doing a 1,000 rep workout today. It is going to be tough. There will be tears, there will be blood. I'm switching it up a little bit. You just shock the body. I'm just in that I'm just in that like state right now where my workouts have not been like half ass, but a little bit, and I just want to try something new, shake it up a little bit, see how my body responds, see if I'll be sore after this. Now, I have a work conference for the next two days. My company gets together once a year and has a big all hands meeting. So we're doing that while well, you guys aren't doing that. I'm doing that. But then after work, we'll be doing that exercise and I'm also going to District Barbell to shoot some uh, website photos for Ape Athletics in their new gear, their new FlowFit gear and other gear, I'm sure, so that'll be fun. So, let's go do it. That emotions literally are nothing but physiological storms in our brains, if you will. And that we learn that by using our bodies in certain ways, by using our voice, our gestures, our breathing, our facial expressions, we could radically change our states. And we also talked about the idea, if you recall, of measuring our states. Where are we on a scale from zero to 10? 10 being absolutely empowered, unstoppable. Working the flex, but not working on the grind. She bought that dress for the club, but can't pay her rent on time. Bye. It is the end of the work day. First day of the week is done. Killed it, super tired right now. Kinda wanna like not do what I'm about to do, but I have to go to the grocery store because my refrigerator is literally empty. I have no food. So this is gonna be like a fresh restock of my refrigerator. I will go through everything I buy. We'll show that to you. And if you wanna know what I put in this body to look the way I do, then you're in for a treat. That just sounded super douchey. Also, if you wanna go back and watch another one of my grocery haul videos, I have one out where I kinda of just go through what I bought. I'll probably buy some of the same stuff cause creature of habit, cause eat the same thing. If I figure out what you want to eat, make sure it's healthy, make sure it tastes good, and then kinda of just stick to it. That's like my theme, honestly. It works for me, and yeah. But let's go to the store now. What's up, blueberries? For sure. Probably get two packs. Two's better than one. <sighs> Let's go. Things to pay attention to guys, especially when selecting protein bars, or just like nutrition bars in general. Hope this doesn't fog up, it's not fogging up right. Um, calorie content is what I look at to protein ratio. How many calories are in the bar? How much protein are you getting? And also sugar. But as the sugar, as the calories are lower, the, the sugar is naturally lower as well. Hope that makes sense. Usually I go for Quest. Quest bars, usually these are like anywhere from 170 to 200 calories a bar. You get 20, 21, 22 grams of protein. That's good. That's a good thing. What is, a, what is an example of a bad one? Um, Cliff bars, that's just like pure carbs and sugar. Have that pre-workout sometimes, but I wouldn't have that in the middle of the day randomly. Um, Luna bars, are these good? Luna protein bars. Let's take a look. 170 calories, 12 grams of protein. Nah. I'm a child. Damn. I better like these because I'm getting four of them. Two of these lemon cream pie ones, which are probably awesome. Not the be best flavor choices here, but we'll have to do. The 
these things are so good. These blue diamond almonds. But I can't buy them because when I open a pack, I eat the whole thing. And I literally can't stop myself, so I have to limit myself. AKA not buy them. Are we on a guy? Yeah, you are. That's awesome. One thing that frustrates me in the last like six months is I haven't been able to find canned chicken in like, I must have been, yeah, a little bit. Canned chicken in any grocery store. It's all just fish, like tuna. I like my canned chicken. Some people hate it, but it's so convenient sometimes. And when you have a busy schedule, it's so clutch, like a wonderful source of protein, but I haven't been able to find it anywhere. Does anyone know why there's like no canned chicken anywhere? There's like a shortage. These are expensive, but sometimes very convenient. So I get them sometimes. Use this for some grilled chicken, why not? Carbs, carbs for days. So clutch. Sometimes you gotta cheat. pack obviously what is that noise am I gonna die what we're doing is 12 exercises each exercise is four sets and 20 reps. So per exercise, four sets, 20 reps, 80 reps per exercise, we're doing 12. So if you do the math there, I'll do it for you right here, that's 960 reps. And then at the very end, we're gonna do 40 push-ups. And uh, I've not done a workout like this in a very long time. I haven't trained super high volume in a very long time. So I'm prepared to, uh, we'll just say I'll be feeling it tomorrow. But um, hope you guys enjoy this and let's keep going. Say if you wanted it, come with a price This ain't no game, but the price is right What I'm saying is I'm willing to pay it I'd be damned if I let someone take it I got a vision and no one can change it All my supporters be my motivation, yeah Life can't tell me, can't stress up Gotta stay down, stay blessed up Women getting at me cause I'm next up Pussy get wet when I caress her Now she get mad, I won't sex her Yeah, I got a number, never text her Oh, homie, see me, then they fix her Oh, now everybody wanna test us Yeah I put my life into this. Got picked the right one for this. Music, I'm riding for it. Gotta keep pushing these hits. Gotta keep pushing these hits. Do you know who QLA is? When you realize you'll never forget. I'm just trying to clear my fucking mind of this shit. Yeah. Drama, I'm just trying to get this game. I just want to fucking clear my mind for the shit It's getting late Don't want no drama, I'm just trying to get this game. Niggas working to flex, but not working on they grind. She bought that dress for the club, but can't pay her rent on time. Wake up every day complaining, but still get high every night. I guess it is what it is. I leave the cash with a kiss. Wonder why I don't trust you. Oh, now you don't know what you did. This is so hard already. <sighs> don't get her cause you getting curious. Yeah. I ain't playing. 
I can't stay, no On the move and I'm gone I'm somewhere east of the city Bought a little Hennessy with me People mad, they don't get it You can't understand, you not in it I'm just trying to clear my fucking mind of this shit Yeah Riding through the city It's getting late Don't want no drama I'm just trying to get this I just wanna fucking clear my body It's getting late Don't want no drama I'm just trying to get this guy This This hoist leg extension I do not like it all. I love this curl though, this hamstring curl right here. This hamstring curl is awesome though. They're closing down, but well, a couple more exercises here. Uh, do some calf raises, dude. This thousand rep stuff is killing me. You on fire? Oh my god! Calf raises right here, and then some shoulder press. You know, because shoulders can never get enough shoulder. That's my arm, but I don't know why I just did that. Anyways, two more exercises over now. See, it's a struggle being a vlogger. Can't figure out where to put your damn camera. Put it up here though.
Hope you guys enjoyed that high volume workout. I wanna say a couple words quickly about stepping outside of your comfort zone. And I'm gonna tailor this specifically just to your workouts, guys. When I feel like I am not making progress, or I feel stagnant in the gym, or I have that feeling when I get in the gym that, ugh, I'm gonna go through this workout again. You know that feeling where it's like, I need to switch something up, I'm getting a little bored of this. Use that feeling as a catalyst and fuel to try something new. When do I switch up my workouts? There's no hard and fast answer. I don't use a specific program. I don't have a coach. I've been lifting for a long time. I do it by myself. Yes, I follow a certain workout split. I'll cover that in another video more in depth. But when I feel like I'm plateauing or I'm getting bored with my workout, get outside of your comfort zone, switch it up. Look up new exercises. Guys, we have these amazing things called smartphones where we can download any freaking app or access this thing called Google and we can find out brand new exercises to do at any point in time, even when you're in the gym. So, and I'm talking to myself too, because guys, sometimes I get stuck in the same mentality. It's easy getting off work, I'm gonna do this workout. But that being said, this past workout, I needed something new. I was like, look, I've been staying in the same rep ranges, same rest times, I'm gonna try a high volume workout. And you wanna know what? I'm gonna be sore as hell tomorrow, but I did it. Have the courage, guys, just to step outside of your comfort zone, try something new, and, you know, stimulate the body in a different way. Reinvigorate, reinvigorate that muscle. I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but just throw your body for a loop. Keep it, you know, you've heard of muscle confusion. If you haven't heard of muscle confusion, YouTube it, Google it. It's so important, guys, to keep your body on its toes because it gets used to the movements, it gets used to the rest times, it gets used to the same workouts. See you guys in the next video. Love ya.